At this downtown Kelowna outreach clinic, they've been talking to some of their patients about fentanyl. We don't have anything confirmed, but we do hear from clients that they suspect it's in some of the drugs that they're using. Unfortunately, some uh, use it by accident because it can be mixed in with other drugs. From what I've heard, it's being mixed with all different kinds of drugs, um, heroin, crack, um, oxycodone, um, speed. The fact that users may not even know that they're taking the potent drug makes it even more potentially dangerous. Fentanyl is about a hundred times stronger than morphine and um, it basically means that it's a lot easier to overdose on and um, it much easier to succumb to the effects of um, an overdose. Fentanyl is also on the radar of Doug McKenzie who owns drug and alcohol rehab centers in Kelowna and Salmon Arm. We're getting a lot more calls and, and when people come in for treatment for off opiates and heroin, one of the always things they talk about is that heroin now has fentanyl in it. So they, they're very well aware, a lot of people are aware that it's in there, they just don't always know the potency that's in there. The BC Coroner's Service has confirmed that since the beginning of the year, there have been at least nine overdoses in the Interior Health Region where fentanyl was detected. These nurses telling users to never use alone be aware of the signs and symptoms of overdose and have an antidote kit. This is the take-home naloxone kit. The clinic has been giving out the kits free of charge for two years now. The drug can be injected to help people overdosing on fentanyl and other opioids. As soon as someone notices that someone's overdosing, uh, they should just drop the naloxone. But no antidote can totally negate the fact the presence of fentanyl makes use of street drugs more dangerous than ever. 